Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back with another Funko Pop unboxing for you. This time, we're actually gonna be taking a look at the full set of Funko Pops for the new Disney animated movie, Encanto. Encanto is a smash hit. Everyone's been able to watch it on Disney Plus. I think it hit on Christmas. It came out Thanksgiving, hit Disney Plus on Christmas, and everyone's been talking about it for the past few months. And we were a little late to it, honestly. We didn't get to see it until January, but we fell in love with it too. It's a fantastic movie. The songs are great. The characters are great. The story is awesome. And so it's definitely a really fun movie. And the Funko Pops all were released in the beginning of 2022, I believe. And it actually was a little bit crazy where at first there wasn't a lot of hype behind these. Because, of course, I mean, the movie is getting moved to Disney Plus shortly after its release. And there wasn't a lot of marketing behind it. So people weren't really hyped up for Encanto. Just like we kind of saw the same thing with Luca earlier in 2021. Where when the Luca Pops came out, no one was really going crazy for them. But then the movie hit Disney Plus, And everyone was loving it. Everyone was in the Kanto fever. But nobody could find the Funko Pops. Because the Pops were not releasing until January. And once they were released, the value started inching upwards very, very fast. Especially for one of the Pops. Which is, you know, based on the kind of the most popular song from the movie and they're still not super easy to find there are a few characters i'll find in stores every now and again but i had to get all of these in bits and pieces until i was able to complete the entire set and got most of them off of gamestop and last time i checked there were a couple left on gamestop's website so if you are still looking to try to complete your set go ahead and check out gamestop or hopefully you can uh, come across one at one of your local stores because this is definitely a set that would be awesome for you to get. And we'll go ahead and take a look at all seven of the Funko Pops that are going to be in the set for Encanto here in a second. But before we get into it, of course, if you guys can, make sure you do go down below. Hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. We can't hit that goal without your help. So make sure you hit that the subscribe button. And also hit that like button while you're down there as well because it does help the channel out a lot. It makes a massive difference. So thank you guys so much for all that. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at all seven of these Funko Pops. And of course, we're going to go and start with the main character of the movie. Actually, one of my favorite characters in the movie is Maribel Madrigal. And this one is definitely a cool one. I like the design of Mirabel. I just like her as a character and even a look in the movie. And then it definitely translates well over to the Funko Pop. And what's great about these is that, well, of course, with Encanto, it's all of the Magigal family. And we'll see, of course, all of them here in a second. But on the back, they actually have the uh, a saying for each of the characters. And so we have for Mirabelle, it says, Courageous, kind, and imperfect. Mirabelle is on a quest to save her family. So everybody has a different one. It's kind of what their purpose is or maybe what their gift is in the movie so i really do like that and mirabelle's quest in the movie was really great and her kind of discovery and really coming into her own was really nice sentiment to have for a kid's movie but the design is definitely really great i love mirabelle's dress everyone's loving mirabelle's dress seeing a bunch of kids getting that mirabelle dress is awesome her glasses there and the and her some of her details have done really well like with her outfit and with her hair and in her hand she's holding one of the pieces that she found from Bruno's cave there when she's trying to kind of figure out the mystery of Bruno. So that is a really great pop. And the second pop we'll look at is Mirabelle's sister, Louisa. And she is awesome in the movie. Of course, she actually has one of the most popular songs in the movie. Well, pretty much every song in the movie now is popular. But her song, No Pressure, is actually very, very popular. And it is a really good song. But Louisa here is the big strong one of the family and if we actually take a look at her message in the back it says strong and hardworking. Louisa is the rock of the family and she certainly is like that in the movie and so we have a look at Louisa here she's in a power pose with, with her one arm on at her side and with her other hand she has it balled up into a fist showing her strength kind of flexing a little bit as well nothing too crazy with the pop but a simple pose like that just kind of shows all everything that you need to know about her character. And the third pop is going to be Mirabelle's other sister, Isabella Madrigal. And she, of course, is one of the favorites of the family. Her gift 
is that she can make flowers bloom and although it's not super helpful it does make the house look nice so i guess she has some sort of purpose there and she is a kind of uh, good character in the end of the story so then on the back of her box she has hers that says graceful and poised isabella makes all the flowers grow so that's exactly what she does she makes flowers grow and i do end up liking her character arc in the movie and the pop is, looks really great. I like her dress and they kind of have the layered purple pink dress there. That definitely looks really nice. And then she even has the flowers coming out of her left hand where she has two different colors. One of them's purple and one of them pink and it's kind of blooming and looks like it's going up into the wind. That's a cool little detail. And it looks like her hair is, is blowing in the wind the other direction too. So that's actually pretty cool. And more towards the beginning of the film, we learned that one of the younger cousins is going to be learning about what their gift is and so we have that cousin Antonio Madrigal and he is really adorable of course we learn that his gift is that he can speak to animals which is really cool and we actually saw some things in the trailer before the movie came out showing it and he does a lot more of that in the movie too which is pretty cool especially in the little party they have afterwards there are a few cute moments of him with those animals and it looks like there's some of those details on the pop of him with those animals but first let's take a look at the back of the box here and it says that part of a wondrous and magical family warm-hearted and sweet cousin Antonio can communicate with animals and so they definitely have that on display right here in the pop Antonio has a snake wrapped around his neck being all fun though even the snake has a smile with his tongue hanging out and then it looks like he also has a bird sitting on top of the snake so he can even have those animals be friends and be nice to each other which is definitely really impressive as well but he's a little cute kid and he uses that power well in the movie and the next pop we'll look at is going to be Julieta who is Mirabel, Luisa and Isabella's mother and she is a pretty cool character we don't actually get to see too much of her two or three scenes really throughout the whole movie but she's really there as that supporting figure and she is really nice and she actually has a gift that is really cool that I would love and her gift is that she can heal people with food and that is actually really neat and very very helpful and what I love is that she makes arepas and I love arepas I love a good one so I wish that she can come to life and you know cure everything that I all the illnesses that I ever have and also make me some great arepas along the way and so that's what she's doing in this pop but on the back it does say warm and nurturing Julieta heals through food and so she definitely does that and here in the pop she is holding a tray of food and I believe that is an arepa right there and it also looks like there's like some buns and some pastries or something there as well can't really tell if that's a cake or a pastry I do like the designs that not only this pop but the other characters that have dresses they're having their details on the dresses look really good and then the character that's kind of been holding together the family, holding together the miracle as best they can, is going to be Abuela Alma Madrigal. And in the movie, honestly, she's kind of the worst character in terms of what really she's doing. Because it doesn't really seem like she has a gift, but yet she's trying to criticize Mirabelle the entire movie for not having a gift and trying to stay out of the way. But she's trying to get in the way of everything. I get that it, it kind of chose her and her family to have the miracle but she is being really mean to everybody and the most important thing to her is keeping together the family keeping together their stature and kind of how everyone looks at them so it is good that at the end she kind of turns around and realizes her mistakes and apologizes and wants to go back and be a better person for her family during the movie she definitely is a character that I did not like at all but she did eventually come around but the pop is pretty simple because she doesn't have too much going on there. But the back does say protective and demanding. Abuela Alma is the leader of the Magical family. So yes, yeah, she is the leader and she is super protective of the family, their name, and also that miracle. What she is holding the candle in her hand and the candle is that miracle keeping that magic alive for the whole family. And so she's there in her dress and she also has kind of that shawl or blanket right over her as well to keep her warm and the last pop that I've been holding off on because you know we don't really want to talk about him around here 
But hey, at the end, he does come around, and we do get to talk about him again. So we'll talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno, but we do have a Bruno Madrigal Funko Pop here. And this is the pop that was valued the most. At one point, I saw it going for $60, $70, $80 because you couldn't find it anywhere. But eventually, I was able to order mine from GameStop. They did a restock, and they had it in stock right away. They shipped it, and boom, I got Bruno Madrigal which is definitely a cool pop. I actually do like the detail and a couple cool things in this pop. And on the back here, it looks like for Bruno, it says mysterious and distant. Uncle Bruno has visions of the future. And that's what he's all about. He's able to see the future, but then he tells others about what the future is that he sees, freaks him out, and then they cast him away. But he comes back and he never really left. And that's really cool. And I love the character played by John Leguizamo which I think is a perfect fit and he has a great voice for that character and he is really fun especially even with the song at the end I really like when he finally comes back and integrates with the family he just kind of that kind of endearing type of character that you love and the pop here definitely shows a little bit of that kind of gives you a little bit of a shy look like he is a little bit sad I do like to detail under the eyes with the bags because I mean, it's hard for him to sleep down there when he's within the walls of the house and he does have that little rat that he has befriended. He's befriended the rats while he was in the walls there. And it actually looks a little timid as his feet are kind of crossing over. They even have detail of his one foot standing on top of the other foot. And honestly, Bruno is probably the best pop out of all of them too. And there we go. We have all of the Encanto Funko Pop. We got the whole family Magigal together and... This isn't everybody that's in the movie. Though. There's a lot more characters that we have in the movie. There's Peppa, Dolores, and then I think there's another cousin, Dolores' brother. So there's so many more characters in this movie. They, they could make pops of. I mean, Dolores was kind of a main character, so I'm kind of surprised why they didn't make a Dolores pop. So we'll see in the future if they end up making more pops. I definitely think they probably will, just because it's a very popular movie. So I do want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this Encanto Funko Pop set? Were you guys able to get any of these pops for your collection? Did you complete the set? Also, what do you think about Encanto the movie? Did you watch it in theaters or on Disney Plus? Did you love it? Did you not like it? And also, if you liked it, what was your favorite song? Uh, I keep going back and forth on what my favorite song is, but Family Magical or, or Don't T You Don't Talk About Bruno are definitely my two favorite songs in the movie but what are your thoughts about all of that in the comments down below and of course if you guys can make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button help us hit 2,000 subscribers and thank you guys so much for watching today and as always we'll see you again real soon